You wanna know what's the story? Paul and Laurie can tell you what's been going on. How to get eco life from licking bum. They'll cover conspiracies and aliens. Tell you about pissy floors, popping spots, and one bombs. Getting told off for shagging your mum, combining a scouser and a girl from Birmingham. You can tune in, hear what they have to say. It might be smoking weed, might be some weird role play. You can catch a new upload every Monday. So prepare to laugh till you cry and your belly aches. Yeah, you wanna know. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to What's the Story, Paul and Laurie. Uh, we are live on Thursday night. We also might be coming to you not live on a Monday. Yeah. We have to always, we have to always like. I have to always say that. that. <laughs> I mean, I don't think people are asked. Because people will be dro- driving in the cars and that going, fuck, I thought it was Monday night. thought yeah. it was on a Monday morning thinking it's Thursday I mean, night. I thought it was Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> um, a new feature. Uh, this podcast is brought to you by Pink Slip Prizes. Uh, oh, I was supposed to have the fucking. I knew I was going to fuck this <laughs> up. I knew I was going to fuck it up, you know. Uh, part, of, part of our jams. <laughs> We've got some sponsors, and our first sponsor yeah. is Pink Slip Prizes. Uh, here we go, right. They're a prize competition, obviously. It's called Pink Slip Prizes, uh, where you enter and you, you it's, it's a raffle. Basically, you go on and you buy tickets and you might win stuff. They've got a Merc going at the minute, haven't they? Yeah. So you got buy a t- nice little Merc. Nice little Merc going on loads Secret. of other prizes. Uh, you can get them at Pink Slip Prizes on Facebook and Instagram or www.pinkslipprizes.co.uk. We'll put that up on the screen uh, for the edited version. Uh, and also, as a little added bonus, you can get a little dizzy code. For yeah. Paul and Lorne fucking fans, mm-hmm. uh, if you use the code PL10, you'll get 10% off all your tickets. So be lucky, go and buy some tickets from Pink Slip Prizes. Just let us know if you win. Tag us in your little mech. Come and see us, give us a spin. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof. We'll, 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 uh, we'll share each other's mercs. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little mech, Reese. <laughs> Love a mech, we do. <laughs> We're also brought to you by Brownco Studios at Brownco underscore studios. Um, for all your well, we, we're in Liverpool now because everyone. I, I always find that everyone's always confused because I've got studio brown coat. If anyone doesn't know, is my is my business, and um, we do microblading, skin specialist. Um, we do laser stuff. We do. Um, why are you laughing? <laughs> why, why are you laughing? It's better than yours. Uh, it's your uh, business, though. Yeah, <laughs> laser stuff. Yeah, we've got a new laser machine now yeah, to get rid of threads. Isn't that like a proper na- name? I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> no, but I don't. I don't want to make it all like formal. We have a um and like a V type laser. They want to be like oh, just laser stuff, <laughs> and it? it's mate. cool. We've got it's a fucking, fucking lasers. We've got lasers, yeah. We've got fucking lasers now. So if you want your brows or laser doing in in Turkey or Liverpool, hit up Brown. Yeah, Coast in Studios. Liverpool, I was going to use just oh, jumping, Lab. jumping in on my fucking sponsors, so, little so, thing. So, so, yeah, I thought I can either. He went to me, you do both the sponsors. I went, no, I said, I'll do mine. Stop you tailing do yours. off, because then the sponsor no. bit's going to take ages. Yeah, well, this is, that's this your fault. We're supposed to be professional. He was laughing, he's fucking laughing at my fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's my time to shine now. He's fucking We're fucking shining. I can't believe it, having a domestic about two minutes in, you know. Because you just have to go, you haven't got past the fucking sponsor laugh bit. At me. When you're there going, eh, fucking basically, eh, what you do, eh. <laughs> We're going to anyway. start doing accents again, are we? <laughs> <laughs> We've got lasers. So I've got a studio. Pew, pew. Fuck off now. I've <laughs> got a studio in Torquay. It's a very nice studio, by it the way. Lovely. It's lovely. Um, and, uh, but yes, oh, I nice also story. work in Liverpool. And I work at Wonder Lab Super Salon. And they're very, very good. And they're a good gr- group of girls. And... Um, I'm going to tag them in it as well. At, yeah. one, at Wonderlab underscore Super Salon in Aintree. So I'm there every other week, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, all you Liverpool girls who keep 
messaging me saying, oh, when do you when you come into Liverpool? Well, I'm already there. I will say, right, and, and that's not so, so, it's not somewhere I would normally frequent Wonderlap, <laughs> obviously, for yeah. obvious reasons. But I did go there once um, while, <laughs> while you were working, and they made me feel very welcome. There's a good atmosphere in there. They're so there. sound. Yeah, I felt immediately comfortable just and gonna, had a laugh with everyone. I'm just going to say, right, I was talking um, just about someone, but when I decided that I was going to do... Um, going to work in Liverpool and work from a salon. Um, I was messaging all like you know loads of different salons and stuff like that, and like people didn't want me there. I don't know why. I don't know why because I'm very good at what I do. You are, she is. They didn't even know that it was it was fake hair that I was doing. They thought it was real hair. They was like, oh, we've already got someone that do lamination. And I was like, no, it's not lamination. It's microblading. They went, no, it's not. I went, mm, I think it is. So there was a bit funny with me for a few places. I won't name any names because that's. But you're all fucking juju. dead. To us and you're not getting. It. But Wonder Lab, honestly, couldn't ask for such a better group of girls to work with. They're so lovely. They're proper, proper sound. So to sum up. Yeah. I swear I'm not doing this again. You know what? You can do the sponsors. <laughs> uh, Brow & Co Studios. I nearly said UK again then. Fucking Brow & Co Studios for all your microblading and beauty needs. Um, get well, Check them out at mm. Brow & Co sh- underscore studio. Brow Co. Brow Co underscore studios, studios on Instagram. And www.browandco-studios.com. La! Also, um, as in addition to our uh, official sponsors, yeah. we wanted to do some. Uh, we wanted to help out some small businesses because we yeah. thought we've got a platform here, and it doesn't. It's nice that it's nice to be nice in nice. it. So, so we're going to be uh, doing some uh, additional sponsor slots for small businesses. We've got a couple here for this week. Yeah, we've had um, lovely lady who owns Love Hair and Beauty in Prescott. Yeah. Now I've had my hair done at Love Hair and Beauty before. I think it was actually. For our date, Aww. our first date, I went and had my hair done there. I don't think they know that. Oh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And um, well, then they deserve this. And the Instagram is at Love Hair Beauty Prescott, and they do all your hairdressing needs. They do everything really: nails, beauty, waxing, fucking brows, aesthetics, mm. loads of things, hair extensions as well. Um, so if you got that lockdown ming on. You're feeling, yeah, you feel go like down you to love hair and beauty. They're, they open, on, they're open on the 12th of April, like everyone else. Get yeah. down there, smash your head, smash your head yeah. in, come out like a, like a new and man or woman. We're gonna put these do people, man? I don't know, yeah, th- it's, it's unisex, oh, f- come out like a new man or woman. Um, they a- will actually put all their contacts and their logo and stuff so that you can recognize and contact them. Yeah. But I personally recommend love hair and beauty. Okay. And we've also got my family. Print and think. embroidery. Print and embroidery. Who very kindly, I done a little story about it, didn't I? Mm. They just like they're a fan of the podcast, right? They're fans of the podcast. And uh, is it Jay and what's the lady's name? I cannot I remember. I, Jay, I, I wasn't going to yeah. bring that up because it makes us look. Yeah, rude. I couldn't remember. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but they just messaged me like Thanks, and Jay was and like, no, she and his missus. Yeah. <laughs> um, they just messaged me and they was like done you a cape there for your clients and they just like didn't even like say do you want this doing they just done it for me and sent it me yeah. and, and, then, then and they've done us some t-shirts we're oh gonna do a big God. reveal on these t-shirts but the t-shirts yeah, are when fucking they come. power mate when they come they're gonna meet they're gonna fly they'll, i, I we'll feel pop, like I'm, we're gonna have to start you. selling them because they've just done us like a, like a they just done one for me and they didn't even ask us what we wanted this subject they said stuff. oh wait and see what we've done because we've been thinking about t-shirt. getting merch done but we couldn't think what's yeah. it and then we seen these we were like their boss so the instagram for them is at mf dot print and embroidery um and they do personalized clothing for like businesses with logos and for merchandise and stuff like that and they also do funny like personal clothing items as well so they're not just a boring fuddy duddy printing company they're actually quite fun and trendy they're quite trendy and they're sound as well i think i think we smashed that i think we have Apart from when you laughed at mine, uh, you, you, were, you were rambling. Um, yeah. We got so, we got a, we, we got we got a lot more sponsors and stuff coming up, haven't we? We got a lot of interest. Mm, yeah, we have. We have. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. If you want us to um, consider 
little shout out for yeah. your business. We've, we've got a load of uh, small businesses that we're going to do over the next few episodes. But yeah. if you want your small business, uh, email wtspaulandlaurie at gmail.com and just let us know what your business is about and why you think we should shout you out, why you think we should give you a little uh, little bit, little bit, little boost on our, on our tiny platform yeah. here. A tiny, tiny platform. Yeah. yeah. And uh, hopefully it will get bigger and bigger. We'll give it a little. St- we can give them a little story post on Instagram Monday, yeah, can't yeah. we? Yeah. Why, yeah. why not? Talking why not? of uh, merch, yeah. Like, because I keep thinking. <laughs> You're gonna do the book. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> You're you at me today. Right, talking of merch, like I keep thinking about things that we can like start selling as merch because we do get asked, don't we, a lot. Um. So I just wanted to know if anyone's got any any little ideas. I think we should do a wine, like a bottle opener. Yeah, that's a, a good idea. Script. Like a keering bottle opener. I don't think you no. can get them, can you? You can. No, not like a beer bottle opener, like a oh. wine bottle opener. Oh, you mean a screw, yeah. screwy one? I think we're known. We, someone's asked what wine we're on. Um, where is the wine? Oh, we're on... Uh, this isn't like... A, this isn't It's an actually ad. all right. Wolf I got this. Blast. I got this right, but we we were we were hell hell Shiraz. hell bent on not drinking wine this week, weren't we? Because yeah. we've been doing good. We've been tra- we've been working out. I've hard, trained every day. I yeah, have I've this never week. Been smashing Not it. me. And we were like, no, no. And then it just didn't feel right. And I had this, <laughs> I had this bottle of wine sat there. I only bought that to make gravy with on Sunday. Yeah, well. And it didn't say enough on time. Mm. But I made the gravy was boss anyway, when it because I yeah. minted it. Fire, um, so we're on that wolf blast, but it's all right, it's nice. It just it's doesn't right. feel right without wine, does it? Doesn't mm-hmm. like we thought about having a cup of tea, and it was like, or a can of coke, a can of coke, yeah. But I'd have to, I'd go through about 50 cans of coke on this, I think. Paul, <laughs> Paul drinks coke like this, <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> I said you could actually enter competitions. <laughs> Like, it's only a can. I'm sure they do things like that in America. Yeah, it's only a can. Do you reckon you could do it with a can of beer? Uh, can of cider? Yeah. 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 Can of Pims? No. No. That's all right, Pims. I'm not going to say I don't like Pims, but... Mm. But anyway, going back to the merchandise. Yeah, and so... Cans of, and cans of water. Oh, sorry, yeah. Interrupted. Oh. So, Paul... So, me and Paul was... Yeah, we want to get some merch on the go. Um, but meanwhile... I got some, what I thought was, I thought I was ordering window decals. Is it decals? Decals? Decal. Decals. I'd say decal. What you can put in your, like, the back of your windscreen in your car. Nobody's going to do that, by the way. Number one, I didn't realise they was this big. And number two, they're not the window. They're just stickers. Although, if someone wins that merch, I think they should put one of them on the car. They definitely should. <laughs> I'm going to fucking run and put one on. Ah! Just they're not even going to know about it. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say was, if anybody would like one of our stickers, there's six left, isn't there? I ordered ten of these fucking massive stickers. Come in, she went, I've done something in the podcast room. What have you done? What have you moved? <laughs> And she was like, no, no, it's I've, I've added, I've I've improved. I've added value. Like, Put them fucking stickers on the wall, haven't you? She was like... <laughs> <laughs> Looks all right. But I think if we anyone wants one band. and they're going to actually put them up somewhere, because we don't want someone to just say, oh, we want one, and then we waste one. to get into this. And, but like, whoever has one, they've got to fucking put it somewhere prominent and they've got to take a picture and tag us on Instagram. Yeah. All right. With the hashtag. And if you don't, I'm gonna, we're going to block you. We're going to block you from the YouTube. <laughs> there you go, got them here, look. Yeah, look, ready to hand. <laughs> That's more than six, isn't it? No, they're, they're thick. They're not shit. Oh, actually, it's yeah. Loads Fucking hell, how many did I buy? One, two, three, four, five. They fucked up there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. eleven. Oh, eleven. Eleven of you lucky bastards. These are limited it. edition. We're never gonna give away these ever again. We'll sign them as well. They're not shit stickers either. They're thick and we'll nice. Sign them. We can sign them with a little sharpie. Huh? We could sign them as well. We could sign them. <gasps> and we'll put a little number on them, so like one to eleven. Yeah. So you know like the limited edition. Limited edition. I deserve a sticker. You do, Sinead. We actually said. Taylor said she'll have one and put Taylor it. Taylor deserves one. Taylor can have Taylor's one. got one. Sinead's got one. Um, who else? 
Come on. Why don't you oh, as an aside, you just want to, before this disappears off the comments, Chelsea Jane said, will you give my boyfriend Ryan a shout out? He's working in a factory floors at the minute, but catches up on a Sunday night. Shout out to Ryan. Shout out, Ryan. Thank you for listening, my friend. Well done for working hard. <laughs> Pineapple joggers will sell for mega. We should start doing no, Paul we, and Laurie we, joggers. We, Pine- we Paul and Laurie bobbly joggers. I, right, so I was sorting I, all I these clothes out, right? right? And I said, look, I think we should keep these for a memory. He was like, no. So obviously she wasn't a good shag, was she? No. She stunk a real. <laughs> Mr. Chongai420 <laughs> said the will have one. Um, I don't know how I get here, there, Mr. Ch- See, we've got an issue here. Can, you can't DM on YouTube, can you? Can you DM on YouTube? I don't know. Because otherwise, how the fuck are they going to let us know? Oh, just DM, DM us the on Instagram? the um, Instagram. Or at, 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 the email. Send the, us your address. Yeah, yeah. Send oh, us your address. We'll turn up. <sighs> <laughs> Lynn... Lynn Clement says she wants one. Lisa oh, Adderton wants one. I know Lynn. You know Lynn? I do. How do you know Lynn? She knows my dad. She's known me since I was oh. very little. Hey, Lynn. You she can have to... one, Lynn. Yeah. Lynn can have Fly one. Fly the flag. you got to put it up in your house, Lynn. Beth, Beth Aldred. <laughs> if you don't, I'll... Beth Aldred. Is that Aldred I Breath? I recognise that name. Aldred Breath. Aldred Beth. I recognise that name. I said that last week, didn't I? When I struggled to say it. On Twitch. Oh, that's why then. Yeah. Hello, Beth. Watching. You can yeah. have one. <laughs> Beth. So how many is that now? <laughs> and Ka- Kai Blow. Kai. Is that... um? That's not Leah. Right, that's loads not, of people want money. That's not Leah's. Uh, that's not Leah's, is it? My daughter's got a new boyfriend. Anna, Anna's son's got a, not a, boy, a girlfriend as well. Yeah, and they're both doing my fucking head in. Yeah. The proper like, they're all like, love you, mum. Love mate, you. The best was, thing ever, mum. And I'm like, get in the fo- I, I, my, uh, it was like a, 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 It was like a home invasion. <laughs> I've seen anything like it. Like, I've, I couldn't go anyway. The kids yeah. took upstairs. The fucking it, like the fucking teenagers took the living room. Me and you were fucking on a couch in the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> the I was like, we fucking lost the house. Like literally, <laughs> we were in a corner of the kitchen, just like and look cold. I've never. They were both right doing stuff, but also on the phone. On like on like, this some is what mad kids do now. not even FaceTime. Like some mad like seventeen people on a fucking yeah, yeah. screen, yeah. and but none of them. We're showing there's own I, I saw this guy this Kai lad mm. because he took but like none of them had you couldn't see any of them really it was like random no. darkness mm. it was just the outline like a shadow mm. like a shadowy figure yeah I like know. they're all in the fucking CIA or yeah, something yeah like they got the hoods up and masks on in yeah. the fucking in their bedroom it's mad it? mm. like because I I noticed Ben had a girlfriend because of his Instagram, right? Because it was in a story and it was like a screenshot of that. And she was like, oh, what does she look like? And I was like, I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did do a little Instagram stalk on it. Still got no fucking Still idea no what she idea. looks like. You can't tell what anyone under 21 looks like nah, on Instagram. they like that with their phone. <laughs> Half a face. Half a face. Or they put look, like an emoji over it or like half a face in yeah. the mirror. And then it's fucking baffling. And then the the, the, the caption the, will be like... Or it's the, of their knee. Yeah, the caption will the be mirror. like, rain is falling and there's no rain in the there's picture. No rain. And then there's like it's a rain emoji, frog emoji, yeah. hat emoji, umbrella emoji, yeah. sunshine, rhino sunshine, emoji. heart, rhino, domino. And me and Paul are like, is this a language that we don't know? I feel stupid reading it. So we ask them. Because out of pure interest, like, why is it, kids, that you, like present to yourself on instagram like that like really random and they said it's because they don't she doesn't they don't want people to make them look like they're being like showing showing off is it showing off she said it's, it's, it, she said i don't so i put all the like the mad stuff on so people don't think i'm up myself for putting a selfie i love on. myself that's it because you put so what they do they put a selfie on of a half a face and then they act like they're being ironic putting a selfie on and then they Not put really like random memes on. on on the few like they don't make any sense and it's because it's to like disguise the fact that they've put a selfie on of themselves so that people don't think that she's up herself it doesn't make any sense to me and i said well you'll quickly get over that the older you get the more you don't give <laughs> it's right though isn't it yeah you didn't give a fuck i uh, mean i don't think i'd have ever put a selfie on when i was like 15 16 to be fair to them like oh, i would have they, they don't think they're confident but they're a lot more confident than i, w- I was 
Yeah. At their age. Well, it's it, they're in a day and age where, you know, social media being social is a thing that you have to do. Yeah. Whereas you, you, when you, when me and you were younger, we didn't have to do that. No. Just stay in your room. Well, I didn't stay in my room. I, I was, did. I was raving every weekend. I went. Well, I was for a bit, and then I stopped, and then I started. Yeah. I wish I never, that they were the best days of my life, but I wish I never, because it ruined it when I got to 18, because by the time I got to 18, I was like, oh, I can't be asked to go out now. <laughs> Too old for this. <laughs> Fucking getting on now. <laughs> I'd already done it all. <laughs> oh, that's well, we got loads of people, haven't we? How's it, <laughs> How's it going? Lee from the school run, looking Something's forward to me. the show in Shrewsbury. Hello, Lee. Oh, well, that's are one why are you going that's, to Shrewsbury? That's your first one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Why are you going to Shrewsbury when you live in Liverpool? Thanks, thanks for coming Yeah. There's a lift. That, yeah, that, <laughs> <laughs> that was your first one, you see. It's the first four. Yeah. No. Can't wait. Paul said he's loving the shows. Uh, Kai said it's not me, promise. Mm. 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 If it is you, Kai, you seem like a nice lad. No, he does seem like a nice but lad. But I will cut you. What I was saying, <laughs> oh, I've, I've just like rubbed off on you so much. I'm so proud. Um, I never, I didn't realise I would feel defensive about it. I know when you, you said do, that, I was like, you? I'll just cut him. Proper, I'll just cut him now. Yeah. That's why I, I, I wasn't supposed to have daughters. I don't he watch. He loves our podcast as well. He seems like a nice him. kid. Yeah, but I met him for the first time the other day, and um, Leah had spent the day with him, which I didn't know, right? And then she come back in and she went, This is this is Kai Mom and I was like, Oh hi Kai and I looked at her and she had a skirt on that was up her ass and I was not impressed. And she was like, Oh, well, it's an old one and I thought, I haven't worn this in ages, so I'll wear it and I was like, Yeah, because it's a fucking four year old skirt that's <laughs> And she was like, okay, bye, bye, Kai, bye. <laughs> Isn't it audible though that none of us have said anything to Ben? Yeah, but you know, like, well, I haven't met her yet. Yeah, probably yeah. shagging left, right, and centre. And no Who's one's Ben? Nah, <laughs> Ben's all about the love. Yeah, he is. Very romantic, romantic guy. Romantic. Writing a little p- raps in there, <sighs> little songs and that. Ah, he's a sweetie, isn't he? He's a sweetie. It was dead funny because he was like, <laughs> we proper took advantage of it as well because we were all here for the Easter weekend. It was so nice, weren't and my I? kids were there, and like we got Gracie and Alex who were like. Four and five, they're fucking. They get on like a house on fire, but the chaos, aren't they? Yeah. They just scream and run around the house, <laughs> and they were full chocolated up as well from fucking seventy five Easter eggs. Yeah. Just like. <laughs> and we were just like, and I'm trying to cook dinner, and Ben, because he was on the phone to his, to his new girlfriend, trying to look like. Trying I know, to look like, like, I'm just looking like, after all know, the kids. Just, I'm so, I, I'm just, I'm so caring, you know. I'm just. <laughs> it was crazy. How much you love me? How much you love me? <laughs> like, Trying to get selfies and that. I'm in for the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh good. Got to take advantage of these moments, haven't you? Yeah. And then as soon as he's not, as soon as they're not on the phone to their fucking boyfriend and girlfriend, they go, uh, "How are you?" Yeah. And then they just turn into monsters again. Yeah, they do. So, so it's quite, it's good and bad. Yeah. The perils yeah. of. Parents, I mean, I, I said I'm quite disappointed Leah's not a lesbian because I don't want to be a grandma before I'm 40. She said, because you know I mean? like, we, we don't know whether we should talk about this. Why? I don't know whether she's like... What? Oh, no, I was just saying I'm hoping she's lesbian because it's just easier, isn't it? Yeah, I would. Like, Definitely. I reckon, she, yeah. And <laughs> but then you don't know. No, I told me mate, I told me mate, lesbian Katie, that she... Lesbian Katie. <laughs> lesbian, yeah. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> That's questionable now as well. She will it? fucking piss us over that. Uh, <laughs> I told, I told, I told me my uh, lesbian Katie that Leah's not a lesbian because L- Katie thought she was going to be a lesbian. Openly. Yeah, and uh, she said, "Oh my god, she's dead disappointed." She was like, oh, "She can't fucking talk." No, yeah, she can't. She's got a boyfriend now, lesbian yeah. Katie. <laughs> We've already spoke about this though. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Mm. All these identity crises. Mm. I just don't. I just think you should just do what you want. Do what you want. I it? think sometimes you just meet a person mm. and you've got a willy or a fanny and you're like, hmm. It's a soul, isn't it? Oh. It's a soul that you fall in love with. It's an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know about that. <laughs> That's the worst joke I've ever made. 
Ay, yo, a chance grab, a chance grab, a 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 Oh my god! You need to stop right now. <laughs> you literally said our souls yeah, connected. But I didn't them. mean like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make everything about bumming. <laughs> <laughs> no, our 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 souls. Our, our, souls our souls did connect. Our souls. Why do you have to do the fucking accent again? <laughs> fucking, I'm tired of it. <laughs> you fucking love it. Everyone You're rubbing does, off on your kids as well. Right, everyone your does kids accents. were doing it the other day. Do you know what? Everyone does accents and there's nothing wrong with it. Is there? Nothing. Adam Rowe does fucking accents on his podcast. Why, don't start on why Adam. Why don't they? Why don't they fucking, you don't know, start why on is Ad- it okay for You're them You're going to feel dead bad if he gets like a Twitter hate campaign. I'm not going to get a Twitter hate campaign because that's Oh my ridiculous. God, speaking of fucking weird fucking, we've had murder this week with the, with the club and that. Oh yeah, we fucking we were supposed to be part of this fucking. Ma- I'm gonna. F- I, I shouldn't really even talk about this because I'm gonna fucking do what butcher you like. it. It's our podcast. But fucking, we're we 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 supposed like. to be part of. The- we got we got contacted a while ago, right? The lads at the club, not me personally, asking if we'd be part of this fucking like trial thing, um, to see if we could get like doing no social distance gig, and we were like, oh yeah, sound that sounds good. And then he fucking just reported that we were in it without us even confirming it. And then he asked if we would do it at the arena. And we were like, yeah. Mm. They were like, you test on the way and test on your way out. And we were like, that sounds all right. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And test five days later. We were like, it doesn't really seem to fucking make sense. But like, they must... You, you just put a lot of faith in these people that they've yeah. figured shit out, don't you? Test on the way and test on the way And then they the just completely out. fucking... Mi- no, we test, they test on the way in and test five days later. But that's, that's fucking problematic, isn't it? Because then you got you can... Any at any point after that five days, mm. you could get it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Doesn't make any fucking sense. But then that wasn't even the issue. The issue was then the go- the government just fucking reported it. Like, well, they the put press. a press release out, and the press just jumped on and it, saying it was part of like you had to have like a fucking vaccine they passport. Just, again. Like, it's like that's it's you. And like, we got some shit. It's like they use the comedy club as a way to go look. The comedy club's on board, so yeah, look, yeah. everyone get the fucking vaccine. And we were fucking, we were like oh, the first man. ones in it, so we just got a load of shit, and we were like, this is not yeah. what it is. And we kept putting statements out, but social media is mad because mm. it just you can say something on social media, and like only ten percent of the people see it. So mm. we still we had people commenting on a post about it not being about vaccine passports, yeah. moaning about us doing vaccine passports, and we were like, it's not about vaccine passports. So we've had to pull out in the end. Yeah, we just pulled out, and we we're like, because we're not going to be part of a vaccine passport no, thing. We never were. But to do with that. silver lining, everybody. Want to make an announcement if you don't already know? Oh, it's got verified. <laughs> so <laughs> decent, isn't it? Yeah, I, I was like, you need to apply for that blue tick now because <laughs> you're in the fucking paper, mate. All over the fucking gap. I still am knowing it. I, 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 you still am. Like, I, it has stopped them scammers though. It has. That's Which what is it good. was. I swear, I'm, I was I well, was sold on the I, fact that it, it was Instagram. It, I was fucking, it. it was doing me, I didn't, because it's a big fucking I picture of my do. face going, smiling in all the papers, and then it's fucking the words vaccine passports underneath, and I'm like, bad, oh my it? God. So bad, but, you know. Grim. But it'll blow over, and they'll it will. You know I mean? be angry at someone else soon. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Can I just say quickly, before I forget, what? Scouse Lad says... He will get a tattoo of our logo if we give him a sticker. Sound. He says give him <laughs> one. Now, that could mean many things. I feel like you're going to trick us there. <laughs> and me or her. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're pimping me out on here. Um, no, I wasn't pimping you out. No. No, I wouldn't. Would you rather you? I'd, no, I'd want more than a tattoo. If, if that was a question, what, was it, what would you choose? What? If it was a matter of how much would I? No, if it was a matter of like life a or decent proposal, if it was a matter of life or death. Yeah, who would you choose? What to shag him? Mm. Get shagged by him? Yeah. If one of us had two. Yeah. And neither of us wanted to. Neither of us wanted to. Me. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I'd take that for you. Yeah. I wouldn't want you to be scarred like that. No. No. No, you wouldn't be no. And I, yeah. No. And I also feel like. I'd just I'd get, fucking chat. I'd, <laughs> I'd just get raped and, I, and my life would go on and I'd be a bit scared. I'd have some as I'd, I'd have therapy and that. 
And like, it would be a horrifying experience. It'd be fucking terrible. But you'd have that, all, but also end up in prison for the rest of your life. I wouldn't give a fuck. I know, exactly. But I wouldn't. So I'd lose you for the rest of my life in that regard. Yeah, but they wouldn't know because if he was going to rape me, yeah, then I would self defense on it. Yeah. Chop his cock, put it on a fuck. Th- this could be his fuck for that. Put it in it? a glass case. Like if that was in America. Sweet. I'd fucking get his cock yeah, stuffed. It's a, a fucking weird. It has as a, like if someone breaks in your house here and you punch them in the face, you're going I to nick for the salt. I'd still punch him in the face. I'd do. I'd do more than that. I'd get that samurai sword that's in your bedroom and I'd chop the fucking head off. Yes. It's big. It's West cool Wee. <laughs> 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 I think that's the coolest thing you've ever got for free. Yeah, it is. Hundred percent. And, and the it. crossbow that I got with it. Yeah, but that's you. You can't play with that because you're shitty. So beware. Um. So who else we got in the chat? Well, we got big Ronnie's in. Right, Ron. Scouse lad, message retracted. Oh, what happened oh, there? Restricted. Then? Oh, no, retracted. Message retracted. Love. Oh, retracted. Yes. Yeah. Um. First time I caught you guys live, I introduced my husband to you. And now it's he comes North to North. bed to listen to the podcast with me. Fantastic connection you've got. Keep being awesome. Thank you, uh, Queen Natalie. Thank you, Queen Natalie the first. The queen. <laughs> that is very lovely. I've been... Oh, it's mad. I don't know, I, who was I talking about this last time? What? Well, well, fucking get, keep getting offered fucking fights by people. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what it's all about now. Yeah. I go every year, right, I go through a little... Cause I like train. I like I like fight training, and I'm gonna say fight training because I am in no way, shape, or form a fighter. Mm. And you know this about me. No. You're a fight. If if we're in not the, a fighter, I'm a lover. But, but of I the will. couple, you've yeah. got you've got that go in you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a fighter, but I do enjoy massively mm. like boxing training. You do yeah. Kickbox, Thai boxing, a bit of like jujitsu and stuff. I like all that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So in a gym. I'm not fucking hard, but like I'm a lot better than I would be in the street because I haven't got that. Like I've got that fucking weird reaction to confrontation, mm. right? Um, but for some reason, every year, like fucking, I just get off at like over the space of like a month. I think it's coming into summer. And everyone's like, I need, to, I need motivation to get my body. Like some people do, like charity marathons yeah. and that. But people who like fighting want to do a charity fight, and every fucker just goes, "Hey, do you want to fight me?" And just calls me out. Why do you think that is? I think well because they'd sell more tickets. Pizza. Don't piss out people on stage. Yeah, but no, I think I've got a. I think they've I got think a chance. Because Lee yeah. Butler, I spoke to Lee Butler about it, and he was like, yeah, I get the same thing. Cause yeah. Because he does a lot of boxing training as well. But if, yeah, So I got offered like a few boxing matches. I got offered mm. an MMA fight by an ex army man who does MMA. <laughs> it's like, I'm all right, mate. Oh, I'm like, mate. <laughs> Let me get back to you on that one. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you want to fight a trained off. killer for charity? Hey, no thanks. No. I'm all right. I'll leave it. What about if they paid you a million pounds? A million pounds, I would fight Tyson Fury. Would you? I would fight Tyson I Fury. I would as well, you know. For a million quid? I would. I'd do it for it. half a million. I would. I'd take a, I'd take a dig from him. Mate, all day. And it'd hurt. Mm. But he's not going to... Like, I'm saying he's not going to kill you. He might be able to. Well, he ain't going to do that, is he? Like, I, I offered... Cause there was a, I don't know if it's going to happen yet, but there was this f- BT Sport with chatting me doing this uh, fucking yeah. weird thing, weren't they? Mm. Where, like, I go and, like... Do, like, a little documentary. I do, like, a little... Do- I, I, I started... I, I had a little... I went, to, I went I had to grab that and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little roll with Mark Goddard, you know, the UFC ref, and he fucking squashed me. It was fucking <laughs> terrible. Oh, mate, he's the strongest man I've ever felt in mm. my life. It was fucking soul-destroying. It was fun, but 15 mm. minutes we went for, and he just fucking they broke me in half. And then... They, so they saw that and they were like, "Oh, that's this is that's funny." Uh, pretend you're like a, like because I like MMA and all that. Like, pretend you're like a pundit who hasn't really got a clue what he's talking mm. about. And like in MMA, people go like, in MMA when someone's on top of someone, there's loads of wrestling and grappling and stuff, and everyone yeah. goes like, "Oh, fucking just get up!" And like, so I was gonna test actually how hard it is to like get up, mm. or like if you're in a fight with like someone, you see like two boxers go, and you're like, just fucking hit them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. How hard it would actually be to like go around with yeah. Tyson Fury and I actually asked his manager and he said he'd be keen he and likes then fo- you doesn't he he does like me yeah and then I fought it through and I was like <sighs> for the money they pay <laughs> they really want to I, I would I was I'm, fuck, I'm still back and forth the they did want me to do that? everything yeah but um, 
it would be fun to like get in the ring. But then I think it'd be one of them things that was fun until you got in front of him. And he's like six foot nine, and his hands are like fucking the size of your head. And you're like, a bit like mine. Because I think he, <laughs> even if he tried to hit your light, yeah, it'd, you'd, you'd be going out. I think you'd be yeah. dead. One I bomb, think, yeah. yeah I mate, not even one bomb. It, it once happened, you'd be clean. That's, fucking that's dead. a one bomb? Yeah. That's what a one bomb is. You one seen tap? that fucking Eddie? I don't think you wouldn't probably wouldn't. You know that Eddie Ola strong man? No. See, the, the world's strongest man. The two, yeah. the two world's strongest men from the last few years are fighting each other in the oh. world's heaviest boxing match, right? Yeah. And they're both like three hundred and fifty pound, fucking massive, right? Well, that's all they're worth. Yeah, mate, they're worth well more than that. Um, and f- mate, fucking, like, they're just he's f- he's three hundred and fifty pound with abs, Eddie all right? That's how big he is. He's Reckon f- he's had him put in. Uh, it's just loads of gear. I, I mean, mm. I, I mean, he wouldn't even argue with that. It's got to be loads of juice, like. Do you reckon he's had them etched in though? No, you can I have think, abs. I think his abs are just like fucking that big. But like, like his abs are like my biceps. Well, there was this, I remember watching Big Brother da- back back on the Big Brother days, and there was some guy in it. And I can't remember who he was now, but it was some celebrity guy, and he was fat and he had abs, and he'd had them surgically put in. What abs on top of his fat? Like in his big beer belly. He <laughs> <laughs> just looked fucking. He looked like a teenage mutant hero turtle, I had no idea but flipped you over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he it's looked like. Oh, yeah. no way! I, I didn't. I had no idea you could do that. But his shell was on his front. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> my head, my head fell off when I found that you could have. I fi- can't remember his name now and who he you is. But you, you can get filler in your abs. I don't know. Well, maybe my, that's my head fell off on the fan that you can get filler in your ass. Yeah, you can get filler in your ass. No, I don't need that because it's all paid for. Mine is, but not not fake, not not surgically paid for with food, with mackies on it. Yeah, and wine. Uh, and wine. Well, I never used to fucking drink wine until I started. Don't blame podcast. me. It's your fault. You made me an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> We've been all right. We haven't drank all week. Nah. I was bad you at did, one point. You did. I was just going to say, Paul went through because put me and Paul. I was actually started getting worried right, about. I've so never been I'm bad. I'm just going to clear me. something up now. So all you think I from the comments I've seen and everything, people think that I'm a raving alky, and because I'm a brummy as well, that just makes it more believable, right? For whatever reason, I don't know. But like, just to clear, like, cl- and clarify, we're we're actually not, are we? We're not big drinkers. Like, that's genuine truth. And, like, you might think that that's what alco- alcoholics say. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I never drink genu- before 11 o'clock in the morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only on special occasions. But genuinely, I'm not a massive drinker. So, and I, like, I just, uh, I've never been big. I started, didn't start drinking a Malibu with lemonade till I was 23. Weird. And I've only just started drinking wine. Mm. So, like, I only we only drink, really, like, I mean, on lockdown, when we're on the podcast, really. But, but you, like you said, you, Paul went through a little bit of, it an, got, it got of an alcoholism spell. I like whiskey, though. Yeah. So because whiskey is a very uh, discerning drink, it's like... I think I've got... A, what it is, the problem is, I've got to the point classy, where... Isn't it? Whiskey, I've got so used to whiskey now that like it just water. tastes like. No, it just tastes like I, I'm used to wine now, yeah. so it, I can taste. It tastes fruity. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like juice. Mm. Whereas when you first start drinking, when you first start drinking whiskey, it tastes like fire, and mm. you're like, oh, I can't. But I can, I could easily drink a full bottle of whiskey yeah. in one go. Not like, but like, I can do a bottle of whiskey in a night. Just happily, and just we sit all there know about that, don't and just we? Chill. And if you remember previous, uh, it's bad podcasts, though. It got bad when I spoke about. But I'm it, the first one actually that yeah. spoke about it. Yeah. When when Paul b- drank a whole bottle of whiskey to himself, and I had to hold his willy for him while he had a piss. <laughs> um, low moment in life, Bernie. <laughs> and carry him to bed. <laughs> He's my big man. And um, is that your brother there, Who? Daniel? Is that you, Dan? Oh, hello. There's oh. our kid. How are you, Dave? Kid. <laughs> He's finally yeah. caught alive. Who's Daniel? Who's Danny Lyons? Where's that? Becky said that was Danny Lyon. So I don't know if you want to go. Oh, you want about the uh, Big Brother guy? Oh, Danny, yeah. Danny Lyons. 
Yeah, I don't know who that is, but I just remember being totally distracted. Google Danny Lyons abs. CBB. Yeah, fat abs. <laughs> weird, wasn't it? Isn't it weird? <laughs> I just couldn't take my eyes off his fat abs all the time. That's the only person I remember that. from this episode, oh from God. this beat, because it was just so obscene. <laughs> <laughs> Scouse lad said, when he's next to an MDMA. Um... I enjoyed the experience, but I'll be honest with you, for about, I think, I don't think it was nothing to do with the MDMA, for, but for about fucking four days after yeah. it, I had proper, like, sleep, like, paralysis. Paralysis. I couldn't go to sleep because I kept just losing all sensation in my body and having fucking yeah. horror, like, the most violent dreams you've ever had in your life, like, just murder, death right and sense just serial yeah, killers Yeah, you didn't really have, like, a come down or anything, though. No, no, you? I don't, I think it was just the fact that I had, like, it was an hour and a half sleep. All it three was, days. It's what it is. It's the sleep deprivation that fucks you mm. up. It's like that's the main thing because mm. that that is more like seriously. That's affects tricky you. to get round, isn't it? Because doing MDMA and then trying to have a kip. I know. Yeah. It's so fun. Well, I I wanted to go to bed and you just Someone wouldn't come said, to bed. And I, 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 we we shouldn't. I don't know. We're not condoning drugs again. I'm going to put that little disclaimer. in. Someone said to me that you can get MDMA slash LSD. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not. Half and half is. Sorry, I'm about, to, I'm about to pull these up because I'm fucking I've sweating. I honestly thought you were getting your fanny out then. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see that, but I swear Ooh, young man. their fanny Ooh. is close to being out there. It's not really, though, is it? Fucking hell, my fanny's not that big. Fucking hell. And you know not what? Not according to some of the comments on Instagram. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> I'm just gonna, also, I'm just going to clear something else up, right? Clean a lot of things. Anyone who's seen, I was talking about the big discharge commando statement, okay? And I was talking about about your turkey flaps flapping around. Now, right? Like, I'm not saying that I've got hanging turkey flaps, okay? What I'm saying, I was just exaggerating a, a point that I was trying to make. Yeah. In in the name of comedy. What was the point? Like you know. About your Ghibli bits being there and like there's no support for any kind of fluid. Some women got proper offended by that, didn't they? Some people were like, uh, excuse, excuse me. Not all of us I, have I, not flaps. all of us have turkey flaps. Mine well, is very tight. Are fucking perfect. Mine is very tight. And I was like, oh, your little fucking, fucking paper cup funny shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> paper cup funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I hate that though. But what that the pic like no, like I'm not saying everyone, but that when people put that. It just makes you think that they have got turkey flaps. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and they're dead self And they're dead self conscious, so they have to make other people feel self conscious. But everyone's funny is different, isn't it? Exactly. It's not all just like. Maybe it just means the people that have got turkey flaps, yeah, maybe if they was a guy, they'd have had massive balls and a big dick. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's the case. I f- and, and no one fucking complains about big balls and big dick, do they? Hey? No, so why is it. <laughs> not, no. So why is it not okay? For women to have big flaps, huh? Mm. So women can have big boobs and that's attractive, but they can't have big flaps. I, feel, I don't feel like you're selling... Or a big clit. I feel, I feel like you're coming across as someone with massive flaps, yeah. No, they're just average size, I think. They're average size flaps. Yeah, just average flaps. Considering I've had three kids, do you know what I mean? They're, they're all right. Yeah, but your flap, flaps. this is another thing that, the, like, and it's done my head. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's that fucking, people ev- kept everyone saying, kept going on about thinking fucking. I'm a slag. So no, I'm a slag. So, for some reason, people think that if you get shag loads, your flaps get bigger. And that, that can't is, be the case. That is not the case. It's not the case. Or if you have kids, your flaps get bigger? No. No. Mm. I don't think so. I don't know. Tearing your I fanny mean, out. Mm. Huh? I mean, Does it? Hmm. Mm. Um, any medical professions part. in? Not any medical profession? Part. Any gynecologist can... Maybe it's just genetics. Yeah. I think it's just genetics, just genetics, mate. I think it's just the same as the size of your fingers and the yeah. size of your nose. Yeah, so no flap shaming, please. <laughs> Hashtag that. no flap shaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this could be our new campaign. But I don't know whether, like, in fact, that a lot of people have seen, but on the, when you put it on Facebook, that... that um. That reel about the, the uh, what? Turn it into the mic. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, when uh, when I, when he put it on Facebook about the fa- the fanny flaps reel, some like because you always get really like if you're gonna get any horrible comments, you'll find them on Facebook. Do you know what I mean? And normally I don't normally comment back. 
to anyone on Facebook because it's pointless. Hello. But, um, <laughs> so this woman basically said, yeah, if she's got turkey flaps, I haven't got turkey flaps and I don't never get discharged. So she needs to check herself for an STI slag. Oh, she was, yeah, she wants to be fair, didn't she? So I thought, let's have a little look at her profile, shall we? Let's have a little look. She looked like a fucking Latvian hooker, right? So I thought, I need to share that with everyone. I need to give her a little bit of her own. Taste of her own medicine, isn't it? So I said, ironic that you call me a slag when you look like a Latvian hooker after a 16-hour shift. She did not get back, And she? she deleted her comment. <laughs> <laughs> and so I put it on my story and I put a lovely picture of her, which was a profile picture, looking like a Latvian hooker. And um, I was very proud of myself. You told me not to do it, but I said, fuck yeah. Do you know what, though? Some people just need a little fuck off. Do you know it's what I mean? Whole, yeah, I'm not going to get into this again. Which all day, I though. mean, I'm not offended by the fact that she called me a slag because it's ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous. Um, but I just thought, nah, you can't go calling people a slag <laughs> when you look like that, love. <laughs> Someone's put clap for the flap. Clap for the flap. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Lisa. That's funny. Enough. Clap for the flap. You still have a doctor set. Free the flaps. <laughs> oh God. Um, yeah, Lucas is basically saying he's a. He's still have a doctor. I don't think he is. Expert, and he's so what? So what's he saying about the flaps then? I'd, he's 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 basically just putting himself out there as a, a vagina uh, expert. Oh, okay. I'm sure you are. Well done, Lucas. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Um, yes, I agree though, Laurie. Commander and discharge is just you. Yeah. And anyone who says they don't get fucking discharge, right? You're as dry as a nun's cunt, obviously. So I feel sorry for your boyfriend. Why would a nun's cunt be dry? Because she doesn't have any sex. Yeah, but. I know, well, obviously, like all vaginas are moist. So yeah. Poor nuns. Yeah. Maybe their vaginas have been more moist because they don't get to, like, yeah, that's use it. <laughs> Slipping all over just the fucking, on by slipping all, on the all over the and feeling bad about themselves, and they're like, "Oh God." Yeah, maybe that's why. <gasps> maybe that's why they have to wear them big long robes. Just put a fun just to hide their fucking gush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, another news: we reached four k uh, subscribers, didn't we? 4.27k now. Oh, well, yeah, 4.27. Yeah, but that's a big milestone. Ta -ta -ta. We've had oh, a little, well, um, we've had a little bet. Yeah. On. So this is a big, quite a big thing, guys. So listen carefully. All right. <laughs> now we've had a bet on when we will hit 10,000 10K. subscribers. So that's a big deal. And um, we both picked a date, and there's a forfeit. Now Loz has shit out a little bit on this forfeit, but sh I said I'll do it. All right. I said I'll <laughs> fucking do it. But whoever's closer. Wins and the we're other one has to do them a forfeit. The dates no, we, we are, we're not going to tell them have, the dates. We've wrote our date down and then we sent it to each so other. So whenever at the same we hit ten thousand subscribers, so for me, and some of you will be like, "That's not that," but she's picked a skydive. Now, if anyone's seen me under any mm. like in 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 any height situation, will know that's bad for me. So yeah, if if I that's if probably, I win, the only Paul's the only thing I could do him. worse than that to me, and I shouldn't even say this, but it, I was wouldn't do it. Is stick me in a fucking tank of jellyfish. Yeah, but that's fucking so much hard, like to do. I, I honestly like skydiving. Is I, okay with do, that. I don't want you to die. Well, all I wanted there to do is get a tattoo. No, he wanted me choosing. to get. No, he wanted to put a tattoo on me fucking calf, <laughs> a full calf tattoo. Like, no, like I'm not a tattoo kind of girl. Like I don't actually of my do face want like some tattoos. This. Yeah, are you mate? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't good. mind. No, but I don't mind. I said, look, I'll get 10K tattooed on me, 10K subscribers tattooed on me. But he was like, no, I want a full calf tattoo of my so face. So she said no. So what she's going like, to do no. now, she, she, she's going to get 10K shaved into the side of her head. Yeah. But if it's close to the wedding, I can't. Obviously. <laughs> it's going to have to be after the wedding that I'll do it. Yeah. We'll probably have 20k by then. You'll have to. <laughs> if it, no matter when it is, you've got to do it. 
All right. But I said, I'll do that. I'll skydive into the wind, and mate. And Paul's going to skydive. And I'll land on the, no, I'll land on the altar like that. In Paul, the if I win, Paul's going to skydive holding thank you for 10K subscribers. Yeah. yeah. And we'll get a But fund. what I said we should do is we should have like a time, like a, um, a frame of like, like two months be- before and after. And then if it's way out of those parameters, so we say if we get 10K well earlier than we thought we was going to, then we should both do our um, forfeits. What do you think? <laughs> but I just don't know. He was like, I want you to get 10K like shaved at the, the very front of your hair. I'm like, how? Because I'll have little sprouts at the sides of my fucking head on my wedding day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's part of it. That's why it's a forfeit. So basically, what we want we we need to get to this ten k so that you know we can tell you all who the fucking winner is. I just got a feeling I'm going to lose this. I, I really have. I've picked the I've, wrong. I've got I've, a feeling I'm going to win. You know, because we didn't tell each other the dates that we were going to pick. Obviously, our scope's well out. Mine's so, a good date, you know. I know. Fucking, <laughs> really good. but you're jammy though. Really good. Out of the two of us, you're the jammy one. No, but the way the subscribers are going at the minute, and I said, I bet you Paul's going to be on stage going right then, I everybody. Literally. Can you just I'm get your phones gonna, out, please, and subscribe to like, Paul and Laurie? I'm not doing any jokes <laughs> until all of you have subscribed to our YouTube yeah. channel because <laughs> my beard's getting a fucking yeah head shaved. Oh my god, I reckon I'm going to lose. So and bad. I'm going to get Joe DeBarba to do it, and he's going to love it. Joe will be laughing his <laughs> fucking head off. <laughs> I'm so not Joe from Crew Barbers is fucking... Oh, he'd love that. He'd love it. He would as well, because my daughter wanted her head shaved for a bit, and he was willing to do it, and I was like, you're fucking not going anywhere <laughs> near her, you cunt. Go away. But I'll do it for her. And I was like, no, absolutely not. And I had to stay in the room while my daughter was there. I think that's I thought, backfired, though, because if you'd have let her do that, I think she'd have... Uh, been a lesbian. She'd have uh, embraced. Why would more she be a lesbian? Because she shaved her head. Because she was she thinking about have, it. Been she been embarrassed, maybe she was around thinking boys. About it. No, I just think I don't know. A lot of things like that affect your uh, affect your identity and how you perceive yourself. Don't yeah. you think sometimes? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sorry, I keep licking my lips. I've got bad red wine lips, you know. Like I'm scraping it off my lip. It's so bad. Yeah, I don't get that. Do I get that? Do I get that? Yeah, you do. Got it now, mate. Right. Yeah. Look at that. I need a straw. Like a posh cunt. If anyone wants to send us some commemorative straws, um, I really feel like we've missed the whole uh, merchandise because people was giving us little ideas and we were talking about other things. But we'll go back through the uh, what comments. What merchandise later. we should have? Definitely do a call through though. Yeah. What about wine glasses? Nah. Because yeah. you can't really brand that. You can. You can't. You can. Nah. Yeah. And it's smash. You know. Corkscrew is good. Stolen. It lasts, it lasts forever. A corkscrew. Okay, corkscrew. What else? Hoodies, but no one wants a hoodie now, do they? Because it's fucking getting no. warm. Hats, hats, maybe. Flip flops. Paul on one, Laurie on the other. Ah, oh, that's cute, isn't it? Do you think we should use our little cartoon logo on some of them? No. Why not? Not a fan of it. Ah, oh, that you can't say that on the fucking. <laughs> She's not watching, mad? is she? You fucking mad. You can't say that. That's raving. You <laughs> cannot say that. She's not watching though. Does she? anyone else say raving? Because like if something's like our last to say raving. You uh, was our Alas. I actually don't know what our last is. Like that. I think it's meant to raving. be our last, like tight. Right. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. But it, that's I think last. we say our last, like A R L. Our last. Fucking our last. Fucking our last. Bottle opener, underwear merch. Yeah. Maybe. Someone wants a shout out. Me and my partner, Nikki, watch you two all the time for a good laugh. It's their birthday this weekend. Could you guys give her a shout out? She would love that. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Warren. Shout Happy out birthday, to Nikki. Nikki. Happy birthday, mate. Thank you for watching us. This is very... <laughs> Lisa's, Lisa's on fire tonight. Oh, my God. Instead of flip flops, do flip flops. Flip Fli- flop. Flip flaps or flap flops? <laughs> no flip flaps. Flip flaps. 
You've had this has gone away from I've me. Only had one. I know, and oh, you've have you poured, you've, you've, I've poured it. it, yeah. No. I've even been congratulated for it in the in the comments. Mm. Yeah. Well done. Been topping you up right nice. I feel like um <laughs> sitting here like that. No, can, can they see? What? Can they see what? The flaps. <laughs> Stop fucking like flap shaming me. I'm not flap shaming, I love flap. Flap shaming me. I love a big flap. <sighs> <laughs> I haven't got big flaps. <laughs> flap around my face and makes me feel warm. Oh my god! <laughs> liar. My dad's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, son. Oh, you know shit, you are. I'm so sorry, Ronnie. Terrible. She hasn't really got. <laughs> you start. <laughs> she hasn't really got a big flap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> you started talking about flash fix that. Oh, no, I've got no bra on. Oh, I'm hot, you know. This fucking room. We need fridge to magnets. Oh, yeah. yeah. Saying this fridge, fridge needs a water dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Rose has said, will you be at the comedy club at the end of May, Paul? I'll be in Liverpool for the bank holiday oh, weekend really? and hoping to catch you there. I will indeed, my good man. As far as I know, as far as it's as far as looking, I will be there definitely. Yeah, oh, we got a hundred and sixty viewers. I think that's our that's records, good, you know. That. Yeah, flying today, flying. I, I come Thursday down. night's fly. Don't know why I thought Saturday night would be better. Night is fly, isn't it? Thursday night. Maybe there's more options on a Saturday. Do you know, like I come down because uh, he said go and get ready for the podcast, and I come down in this red shirt. Right now, it looks like it's a posh blouse, but really, it's not. It's just like, it's a slouchy blouse, you know, like just kind of like a boho blouse. Boho? Yeah. Boho? What's yeah. a boho? Bohemian. Is that what that is? No. Is it? Yeah. Never boho. heard that in my life. I think so. <laughs> what? Yeah, boho, boho bohemian. Yeah. Isn't that like Jamaican? The smelly ho. <laughs> What's that? Who let the dogs out? You missed my joke. Yeah, I didn't. No, I didn't miss it. I just didn't laugh. <laughs> 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 What's the body odor? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah I, don't know. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Anyway, so I come down in this and what's the fucking who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Isn't that boho? No. Hmm. <laughs> I come down in this. We lost, <laughs> Paul. We, lost, we lost five years of that boho <laughs> banter. And Paul um, was like, oh, you look nice, you look nice. And it made me, like, think about clothes now, what people wear, like girls, right? So, like, now I'm 36, yeah, and I feel like I'm going to sound like a really old fuddy-duddy now when I say this. Saying fuddy-duddy doesn't help. No, I know. But the thing is, like, I've noticed there's a new trend going on. And it's been going on for a while now. And I just want to know how. And I don't know whether you've noticed it, Paul. Right? Maybe you haven't because we haven't really been out in a year. Since when did it get okay for girls to wear heels with joggers? I swear to God, that's a thing. I've never seen that. They will life. vouch for me. Girls will vouch for me. Right? Maybe that's just lockdown fashion. Like I haven't No. No, it's not. It's been going on for a couple of years. Heels with joggers, right? Not only that, with a going out top, like a corset. So corset with joggers, high heels. I've now, no, I've just yawned, then. That's now I can't get my fucking head around that because to me, that that look. Is a fucking walk of shame. Walk out your mates at 10 a.m. Yeah, in the morning got, after a night full of club necking. <laughs> and you got jizz on you your You borrowed a fucking skirts. joggers and all you've got is your fucking high heels. That's that vibe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's what they're going for. That's that maybe vibe. It's like, maybe it's like since ironic and they're like, because they can't go out. They're like, let's dress like we've been out. Since when did that become so a thing? To subvert the system. Since when did that become a thing? You know what I'm saying? Might be, I'm just saying it might be a lockdown thing. Like how? And also as well, right? There's a lot of holes in clothes. So when I say holes, I don't just mean like your standard ripped jeans because I like a ripped jean. Mm. 
I'm talking about like there's there's like I don't know, like little what I don't know what they're called now, but they're like lathers. Just loads of like gaps. Fish nets. And just like little things like, you know, like meshed gaps in everything. And in the end, girls just look like one big human fucking stress ball that you squeeze and all the jubber comes out. <laughs> the jubber. The jubber. The jubber. <laughs> <laughs> the jubber. Jubbler. Because they call you jubber. Yeah, you jubber. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? Jubber's such a good word. It is, isn't it? I just made it up. <laughs> You're looking a bit jubber, there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Get your lockdown jumping off. Do you know what I mean though? Even bikinis have like panels cut out. It's like it's basically fucking just a tie that's wrapped round you. Because there's just bits cut out everywhere. Soon I'm, I'm, they'll just have fucking panels cut out of the tips. I've got no, uh, no idea. A little, what. A li- you don't know what I'm on about. No. I just I've noticed it. It's this bad, is, you know. It's not. Like, I can't Something buy anything now. Like, I, I love a dress, yeah. I've got multiple dresses, haven't I? I've got, like, a whole wardrobe full of dresses. I'll spend a fortune on a dress. But now, I can't buy a dress because it's fucking basically cut out. Every part of it is fucking <laughs> cut out. You can see me flaps in them fucking dresses. You can. There's, like, <laughs> they're the dresses that strippers used to wear when I used to work in the strip clubs and you had to get them off a special stripper's site. Maybe so that. strippers had to go on a special stripper's site to buy their clothes. Well, no. You can just go on to fucking... Um, what is it called? I don't know. Give ASOS. Me it. O-Poly and get stripper outfits. O-Poly. Fine. I'm just... Yeah, girls know what it is. It's fine. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. So, yeah, you can just go on to a- ASOS, yeah? ASOS. <laughs> Assos. 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 No. Assos. 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 I say Assos. I know, but it's better to say Assos, isn't it? Sounds better. It's no. fun. Enough. It's fun. No, Assos. Assos. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's Baha men. Uh, ba? Baha men. Who let men. the dogs out? Uh, I don't know. Who, who, who? You never heard who let the dogs out? I, I know fucking who let the dogs out, but I didn't know it was who it was by. Oh my god, sorry, I nearly fucking uh, removed Taylor from the chat there. Oh my <laughs> life! <laughs> and then he blocked you there, Taylor. Sorry about that, kid. <laughs> Some uh, Jamie's put half-assed outfit. Yeah, it's not even half though. It's only like an eighth. <laughs> it's an eighth Suppose of an just outfit. Because like, fellas now just wear like like V necks got lower and lower. Nah, and lower that's old. That you're well, you're well old. That that's old. That's when I used to live in... The fuck are you waving your that, hand at? Because that's when I used to live in Birmingham. It, that was the cow neck was the was when I was in Birmingham. So we're going back now about nine years. So you're nine years too late there. Uh, Men still, don't wear I them cow necks anymore. Made to do. Nah. Made to do because I think I them don't. a lot. I mean, I haven't worked for a year, so maybe not. But Yeah, they when used to get do, lower When I was in the club... Now they're back they up here like, again now. They were all about the fucking neck down to the belly. All shirt open. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's just what I just had to get that out or there. Suit with no just, shirt on underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> but the one good thing <laughs> about the, the one good thing about today's fashion, what I'm enjoying is the the new sort of classification that is loungewear. Because basically loungewear means that you can go to the fucking Tesco's in your PJs, no one gives a fuck. Like, loungewear is fashionable now for girls. So you've just been having a go at fucking girls wearing tracky bottoms with fucking heels? heels yeah. That's loungewear? With a corset, yeah. That's loungewear, though? No, it's fucking not. The bottoms are? Yeah, but not with heels, though. It's still loungewear. But no, I'm on about, like, there's actual loungewear, which is basically posh pyjamas that people can go everywhere in and no one cares like, you couldn't fucking walk around in your p- pyjamas without getting called a fucking scruff. Do you know what I mean? And now you can. You could in Liverpool. Yeah, I think I've heard that. Yeah, girls just used to walk around like in, in the PJs and fun curlers, curlers in there. Yeah, yeah, curlers in your hair. I rock that in Devon and people think I find think that quite I'm, attractive, to be honest. Yeah, people think I'm mad. Like, Devon is a bit slow. 
like with the old like, Scouse girls are fucking edge I the love game, the Scouse yeah I, the I cut, love on it. Edge, cut on edge of fashion cutting edge girls. of fashion but you know I've I've always walked around with rollers in my hair now I remember when I first did it when I moved to Devon and everyone looked at me like I'd just fucking escaped from the mental institute everyone was like fucking, does she know she's got fucking rollers in her hair like everyone was then when I went to mad. fucking <laughs> I, went to, I went to the same space by yours in, in a fucking onesie I mean slippers <laughs> no, I you were with me. Was I? Right around Christmas. <gasps> oh yeah, I remember now. It was like Gracie. We were Jack. We were, and Jack, Jack was Jack, like, yeah. Jack was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'm not asked." That's what I'm saying. I'm not getting dressed. It was the same series. It's weird because you just don't see it in Devon. Yeah, full ones. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone, and everyone so was just going. Yeah, they're so slow. It's like, come on, dear, back to the home. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a fuck around here, lad. No, but that's the way I like that. I got the test goes in anything, me. I like that, but I'm just—I don't think I'll ever get on board with joggers and heels. Yeah. Sorry, like you know, all the best sort of fashion boutiques keep trying to push it on me, and I'm just nah. Yeah. Never gonna happen. Like as I said, that—that's a fucking walk of shame outfit. That. Hundred <laughs> percent. You know what's gonna be mad is that like I you always think that like. Isn't it mad I'm never going to have a walk of shame ever again? You will. Huh? We, we'll do some shit. We'll have it together. Don't know what's just happened. <laughs> but let's never speak about let's it again. Never mention that again. <laughs> More than after we host that Swingers Festival. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll come out of it like, did you have a lovely time, dear? Because I had a lovely time, I yes. Know, I don't know what all these fluids are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, don't man. know what's mine. Don't know what's yeah. everyone else's. Even your flaps it. will be big after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god! god. <laughs> you need to get back on them about that. I want to do that. I know. I thought they was. I thought they was. They were, you were waiting for them to uh, speak to. If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, we got asked to host the Swingers Festival, the biggest in the UK, actually. Well, you shouldn't say Swingers Festival. It's supposed to say no. the UK's biggest alternative, alternative lifestyle, lifestyle festival, festival, Aurora. Which is LBG, L- LGBTQ LGBT. plus friendly. Oh, but it, it's it's inclusive it for all. It looks fucking brilliant, though, doesn't mm. it? I can't wait. Everybody is welcome. And yeah. uh, everyone should be made to uh, feel and welcome. And my you'd... daughter asked if she could come. And I went, the only person who's not welcome is a daughter. Is Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Absolutely. <laughs> you and your boyfriend can. The Franken. most Fuck unwelcome off. person. Yeah. The most. You two should try mushrooms, especially if you like Mandy. No. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know who Mandy I is. I am keen She sounds on lovely, though. She sounds lovely. I'm keen on Mandy mushrooms. sounds lovely, don't Mandy she? Does, yeah. Uh, she sounds... Me too, Molly. Um <laughs> I'm keen on mushrooms, but the only thing that freaks me out about mushrooms is how knowing long? how long it is. Yeah. And I, my, I know my brain's a cunt, so I yeah. know as soon as I have them, my brain's a cunt, I'll start feeling yeah. it, and then my brain will go, oh my God, you can't not feel like this for 12 hours, and I'll go, oh, and I'll freak and out. And you will. Yeah. But then and I then thought that about MDMA, and then I, no, I just felt um, great. No, I told you MDMA is not you've never had same. mushrooms, though? So you don't yeah, know. but I know people that have. I've got a very cultured group of friends <laughs> who've had lots of experiences. And so, by the way, everyone who says mushrooms is boss. Oh, right. We knew when we do eventually go to Amsterdam, we're getting on the mushrooms, aren't we? See, I don't want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it in you the dam for the first time. Why with me? Fuck yeah, off. But, yeah, but then you're in a strange city and you're all like, oh, fuck <laughs> off. We'll have a fucking scream. We'll go and get some fucking brassies. We'll be lovely. <laughs> Then we'll have a walk of shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walking we'll, out some we'll black man's fucking, window. We'll have a fucking swim of shame out of the canal. It's like, oh no, we don't do that while you're on mushrooms. That's a bad idea. Can't wait to go to the dam again. I've never been, so I'm like Such a, a I'm like a dam guy. virgin. So I can't wait oh, to go with I you. Can't wait. Yeah. I just want to fucking go and smash I it. I want to eat some of that wagyu beef. Oh. That wagyu beef. That you mate, ate. Honestly, God, right, my, mate, my, my mouth's, mouth's still like the watering. Mm. It's, the it's like best. £700 fucking steak. No, it wasn't that much. There are ones of that much. Though. Yeah, no, but you buy it in like in this gaff. It's called um, Mr. Porter's. Yeah. And you buy you like, you buy it by the 100 gram, and it was like 90 quid for 100 grams, which is fucking ridiculous. But me and my mate were in there, and we were like, you know what? I fuck it. 
Like I just need to know how good it is. Yeah. And we got it under we what got it under like? What was it like? It's fuck I had the three best steaks I've ever had in one meal. Really? So because I got a New York I got a so I got a New York strip. You got a fillet. I tasted mine, best steak I've ever had. Really? Then I tasted this fillet, best steak I've ever had. And then we tasted the way you go. And it was I don't know how I'm it's so like, jealous. It's like they've injected every little slice because it comes out sliced so you can yeah. share everything. And every, with it, happiness. It was like no, it was just like a block of the best butter you've ever had in your life. It was oh. so like Ooh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fucking unreal. That's a bit of me that so, and it was dead funny because it's such it was a proper posh restaurant. We because we'd gone in the day with all the group yeah. and everyone had gone, fucking not paying that. And then we were walking. You and Paul Blair went. Me and Blair got separated. <laughs> the lad who owns the club. We got separated from them. We were stoned. Uh, and we were just stoned. Sit, and then we had a couple of pints. And we were like, fucking. And I was like, lad, all I can think of is that steak. And he was like, lad, the same. And I was like, should we just fuck it? Should we just go? And we went. But we got there at like four o'clock in the afternoon. And he was like, dinner's not till seven. And we were like, all right. Um, is it hard to get in? He went, yeah. And we, can we just stay and we'll have some drinks and then get us a table when, when you're ready? He went, yeah. So we were sat there on this rooftop yeah. bar for like three hours drinking cocktails. I know we you were sent me pictures. Rat ass though. We were so pissed. And everyone else in there, they're all coming in the suits and that. And me and Paul are in trackies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking sat there. Dead Screw off, but they were all the waiters and that loved us because we were tipping boss and that. And just fucking, we'd been tipping them all day. Yeah. So they were just looking after us loads and they were just, they were, we were just that cracking jokes. We, we knew all the names and shit. So we were just having a laugh at them and everyone else in there was just looking at us like we were stuffy, like proper stuffy cunts. We were just going, oh my God, lad, have you tasted that? Oh. <laughs> I can't wait, you know, I really can't. So good. Someone's put, oh, Laurie, I'm living in Germany. We go Amsterdam once a month, pre-COVID. You'll love it there, I swear. I swear I know I will love it there. Um, red light is eye-opening, yeah? I, I don't think, think the red light's I that mean, mad. I mean, like, like I said, like, I, I've i worked in strip clubs a lot, like, not, a strip, not just, as a stripper. It's just but, naked women in windows. And I've worked... And, and the I've, maddest thing about and it And I've worked for an escort agency on the phone, like, booking people the in. The maddest thing about the red light is that there's, like, brasses and then a restaurant with, yeah. like, kids in. Do you know what I mean? Like a normal, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, family, yeah. like a fucking Weatherspoons yeah. or something, do you know what I mean? So nothing, nothing shocks That's me, That's the maddest really. thing. Nothing but, like, shocks me. But I am excited. Do you know what? This is going to sound really geeky now. Place. But I really want to go to the Anne Frank Museum. No, I don't fancy really that. really do. I want to go. I want to like hide in it like I was going to pretend I'm her. You can't. Why? You can't go to the fucking Anne Frank Museum and hide in the attic. And then like I want you to Frank. go, like there's bombs coming and then I can live a life. I just like things to be feel real. Do you know what I mean? And I want to go to the sex museum. And where else is that? There's loads. There's, there's loads of like sex shows in there. I want to go to some galleries because I'm be like oh, Van Gogh Museum. Oh. I'm gonna say Van Gogh like an American. Yeah. Oh my god. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. I want to go to the Van Gogh. Museum. Don't fancy that either. Why? It's boring, isn't it? It's not boring. So much better stuff to do there. Yeah, but I just we'll just go then. We'll I'll go to the Heineken. I go to like Heineken be- the... Brewery. We can pour a pint of Heineken. Stop pretending you're a lad when you fucking love fine art. Don't you I'd, do? No. You do. Where, 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 where did we go? We went to Rome. I've been we to Amsterdam. Fucking... Yeah, is our no? I don't fancy it. You I've do. been to Amsterdam about six times. I love art, and I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you went with the lads, but you're going with me now. <laughs> never once in my life ever thought. Hey, do you know what? I'm yeah, really but you stoned. won't, will you? But you will with your missus. And there's boss places to go. Yeah, but you will with your missus though. Shall we go to the Van Gogh Museum? Never happened. But you will never happened in my life. No, I don't. I'm not gonna lie. I like a museum and I oh, like no, an art gallery. Go, but never once in Amsterdam ever thought about it. It's a place of. It, what's the word? Fucking hedonism. Did you go to a sex a live sex show? I have been to a live sex show Where? before in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. In was it good? Yeah. It was more funny. I was it. Because like, we were all stoned. Was it like, like sticky Vicky is, and Benedict? No, you're in a circle and there's windows over it so you can see your mates. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like you sat there just... I mean, some people are cracking yeah. one off. Yeah. No. no. It's not that... It's not like, it's not sexy like that. It's oh. And... <laughs> like... Do you reckon we'd w- be sexy if we was on stage? Can anyone go on there? Or do they have performers? I don't think it's like open mic, no. <laughs> <laughs> Open dick night, yeah. but no, and I don't think we. I, I, th- I think we'd be all right, but I, 
once you see some of the performers, I don't think I'm a I'm of like I don't. Well, you I, never I'm know. always joke. I don't think I've got a small dick, but fuck me, some of these kids. Oh, they're massive. It's, it me. It's you wouldn't want it anywhere near. You. No. It's like my fucking arm. It's terrifying. Like a freak show. And dick freak show. And these girls are like, and they're like, and he's. So have they got? Have they got pipe cut fannies? The girls. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a variety of ladies. How do you know? Has <laughs> it been loads of times? You're pissed now, aren't you? I'm not. I'm fucking. I'm not. <laughs> well, you just said like there's a variety of different types of fannies. Like, I'm like, how do you know? And you're like, uh, I've had a, I've I've had a lot you've of been, fannies. But how have you seen the fannies? Because I'm I'm very observant. What in uh, Amsterdam? And in life. And we're going to see loads of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Got that awkward, that then? Didn't. I, I, I purposely awkward made it minute. awkward. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's getting on you. Who's that? Because I'm observant. This is the first moment you thought, I, I, the, 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 you just discovered and I had seen a vagina before yours, <laughs> even though I've got two kids. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, we never had this conversation. <laughs> this is an awkward moment to discuss previous vaginas. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, your dad wants to come to the dam now. Sorry, Ronnie, love you. But oh no, I d- that's weird. That I, d- I don't think. Uh, I, I think me, y- me, your daughter, and you in the dam is going to be weird. It's going to be yeah. weird. That sorry, fuck that. Me you and you will go though, Ron. Just me and you. We'll have a little dad and lads fucking. Oh yeah, like Tracy's going to allow that. Are you fucking oh, mad? Wow. <laughs> Being- <laughs> Ronnie, so you out. have got. Tell her you're not under the thumb, Ronnie. Stop no making a hope. Little- no hope of that. Yeah, that's so never going to happen. Let him come with me. She wouldn't. Yeah, Ronnie, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say right me now. Me, Ronnie, and Jack will go. I think oh, we all know Jack that Tracy, that. Jack, definitely not will not be able to go. <laughs> <laughs> just sneak them Can out of the country. Can you imagine you, Dad, and Jack? Nah. I mean, you could. I'll let you go. I'm, you know, I, mean, I will. Wouldn't stop me. I'll let you. I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm a fucking man. I mean, oh yeah. Well, I wouldn't. That's I'm not arsed, mate. Down. Say, listen, girl. I'm not arsed. I'm, I'm not arsed. See you next week. Bye. Nah, Dad is never coming to Amsterdam with you. Sorry. I wouldn't have this, Ronnie, if I was you, you know. He's only saying I'll come with you because he knows I'm going and that means she'll have to come. <laughs> oh, no, we can't do that. <laughs> uh, it's the that fucking... Definitely, it's that, a Van Gogh see, Ronnie, Museum you for you, that. Ronnie. I yeah, know, that would be <laughs> shit. We'd be in the fucking, we'd be in Amsterdam, yeah. going, and, and, it'd be and like, be like, it'd be like, oh, should no, we go to the zoo? No, Fuck it'd off. Be like, you know what, Tracy, I really want to go to some, have some culture. Let's go to some uh, Van Gogh. I fucking wouldn't. I'd be like, hey, Tracy. You'd be like, I want to say some Hey, Tracy, hey, hey, I'll I, I meet you at the Van Gogh Museum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be and I'll just fucking be covered. I mean, you'd be like, uh, just uh, stones, <laughs> mushrooms bye bye. covered in glasses. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know where, I've got lost. I took the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like just fucking like hunched under the stairs in the Anne Frank Museum going you can't oh. hide in the Anne Frank Museum Why? it's very tasteless Why? you can't go in the fucking Anne Frank Museum and pretend to be Anne Frank why not? I can do anything I I'm like. not going to Anne Frank I can Museum do anything anyway. I like if I put my mind to it that's not true is it? it is no don't let anyone tell you I'm that saying, you can't I'm not saying you can't I'm saying you shouldn't it's very <sighs> If it's offensive. Dad's put no la. I'm cool. She wants to come also. Mm. Ronnie, you've ruined this. <laughs> Go on your own. Hello. <laughs> you and Tracy. <laughs> Go on your own. For anyone who doesn't know, Ronnie's here, Dad, and Tracy's is Mrs. <laughs> and they're gagging in on our Amsterdam trip where we went no. to go and get brasses and that. And it's just going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> I can imagine Tracy just <laughs> macheteing fucking brasses. Yeah, Tracy doesn't take no shit. <laughs> so like, I wouldn't imagine she's going to react well to Ronnie going, no. um, should we go and get some brasses no. then? And Tracy would be like, fuck I... off. Oh my God. I don't want to be there when that happens. I don't want to be there either. Yeah. So, um, Ronnie, as I said, I'll restate. <laughs> I'm very happy to go with you and Jack. I think we'd have a lovely time. <laughs> a double date thing. I'll go somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. Vienna. <laughs> yeah. 
Their brass is in Vienna. I, probably, but they're not <laughs> as rife. They're not as in your face. I think the Sahara Desert might be. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Dubai where everyone's in. No, like. there's fucking loads of brasses in Dubai. Yeah. <gasps> so many that. brasses. Going after the big guy as well. I'm coming with you. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Don't fuck Doing me over. You again. Don't fuck me over. You know I'm coming to Dubai with yeah. you. You know I am. Yeah. You know I am. You know I am. No I'll work in Dubai, mate. <laughs> I've got lo- I've got loads of contacts in Dubai. Who are your contacts in Dubai? I've got loads. Fucking Christians aren't lives there. Oh, got fucking it. loads, yeah. Stop saying. Yeah. We need to we need to clarify who people are. Christian is my colleague and friend. It's bad podcast, isn't it? Don't you dare try and call <laughs> <remind me. laughs> <laughs> Fucking Cheeky bastard. Knowing she proper tells me off, I have proper mixed feelings about it because I don't want it to happen, but I almost am a little bit turned on by it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wait, I'm, I'm always winning. And this is um, this is a lesson to be learned from like. Yes, it is. Dream I, I seem like I've, I, feel, I feel like I've told you off a lot lately. You have. And I? You've been cranky What's as fuck. You've been aggy. What's happened there? What's the dynamics changed? You've just been aggy. I haven't been aggy. Don't say I've been aggy. You turned I aggy. Haven't. I haven't. I just thought I'm. She's got to be comfortable now. She's a, a facade's come down. <laughs> the real Laurie's come down. Oi, you get <laughs> you get the real Laurie, fucking wholeheartedly. All he is do. This is me off camera, isn't it? Tell him how it is. Yes, dear. And you fucking love it. So shut your mouth. Yes, I love you very much. Um, this is going out on Monday, isn't it? This yes. is out on Monday. I'm starting work. All you salons and that are going back to work. You've already done your fucking no, advert. I'm not fucking doing an advert. Trust me. Aggie. Um, and uh, basically, like, obviously, we've done this podcast. We've started this podcast on this lockdown, haven't we? And I had a little think to myself, right? And although I'm not, I'm not as famous as you, right? I'm coming out of lockdown a little bit famous. <laughs> Just You'll have another selfie, yeah. No, I haven't. That's a rite it's of passage. Coming, no, it's coming. Beth I can't coming. wait. I've had a couple of messages from people who are like diehards who say, when I see ya, I'm going to get a selfie with you. Once you've had a selfie, you're famous, I think. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'll be going back to work a little bit famous. Mm. Good that. I ain't got a blue tick yet. I don't think I'll get one for a long time yet. Who knows? Nah. Who I'm knows? not. I don't deserve it yet. Oh. I don't. Like your black belt. Like if I got it now, I'd be like, oh, I feel a bit like it doesn't feel right because mm. it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't sit right with me. Mm. So I hope I don't really. But I think um, I'd like to get one before we get married. <laughs> <laughs> that's my goal. Okay, they'll be fuming. Who? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> oh God, it's my brother. Yeah. He'll be fuming if I... But no, he he wants me to get a blue tick because then he said, when Laurie gets a blue tick, I'll get a blue tick. I don't know how he's... How, but he's a very good-looking chap, my brother. He's so good-looking. He needs to do modelling. He's done a bit of ASOS modelling, actually. Mm. But he oh, he said ASOS? ASOS. Yeah, but he's um he's got more followers than me still. <laughs> Just for being a fucking good-looking twat. I think we, I think we were. Uh, we should wrap up for the evening now. I can't believe I've finished me wine. Mate, I don't mind ages ago. Fucking on empties, yeah. No, but you fucking because we, we didn't you? prepare for wine, so we only had one, one little fucking cupboard bottle. Mm. Mm. But I'm happy about that because we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta do some, some workouts tomorrow, haven't we? Yeah, ten in the morning. <sighs> yeah. So thank you all for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you to our sponsors, Pink Slip Prizes. And Brown, Brown Co. Co. Studios. Studios. UK. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep saying the fucking wrong business name. It's offending. And also, uh, thanks to our small businesses. Shout out to which is Love Hair and Beauty. Love Hair and Beauty Press Cards. And My Family and Print and Embroidery. Yeah. I'll whack all the social love, love you them. guys. them in the description as well. Um, you guys are all beautiful. We've we've smashed our record for uh, live viewers today. So I'm very, yeah, very happy about that, yeah. Um, good. So I hope you've all enjoyed the live show. This will be edited and put out properly on Monday yeah. evening. 
Um, we're back on Saturday night with another live yeah, show. Yeah, don't please come back Saturday because it's always a little bit less on Saturday. People everyone, have got more options on Saturday. Got, haven't they? Everyone's busy, aren't they? Yeah, but we'll, I think we'll but be. Fuck everything else. Yeah. Come um, to us. If you want to get in touch, email wtspaulandlory at gmail.com uh, or Instagram is at wtspaulandlory. Just send us a little direct message on there. If there's anything you want us to chat about, yeah. if you want us to give your business a little shout out or you want us to say hello to anyone, uh, let us know. Email. Did you saw what you said? On the email, email yeah. You're pissed. Okay. If you just down that wine, yeah. Oh, you're going to be a nightmare in about 20 minutes here. I'm going to uh, have a little cheeky alcohol fag. <laughs> I know I like a little alcohol fag. She's fucking... I don't smoke, but I like an alcohol can, fag. Can we just fucking... Like, before just I go. She says she doesn't smoke, I but don't. she smokes every day, right? I'm a very Pretty controlled much. individual. And then she said, I only smoke when I drink, but now she, she drinks the smoke. And also, she just smoked today because she was like, yeah, but Not I'm today. in yours. Last when was night. It? Last night. I was stressed because I drove so far. Yeah. So you smoke when you're I stressed. I smoke when I'm stressed and when I'm drinking. But... I think so. And she says she's a it. not a smoker, but you are a smoker. I'm not, I'm you just a, don't smoke. I'm a all recreational of the time. smoker. Anyway, all right. Just thought I'd clear that yeah. up. I just need I'm to gonna go and dab one of those. So we're gonna go anyway. Thank, thank you. you. We all. love you guys. Thank love you for you tuning in. See you on See Saturday. soon. Bye. Bye. I just spat then. <laughs> <laughs>